I think so, Dylan. You good? You good? feel like the excitement is kind of starting to build with the trip? Oh yeah. yeah, excitement, uh, adrenaline rush, uh, trying to get last minute things done, packed, team ready to go. It's an uh, exciting time. I'm really looking forward to this trip. I think it's a wonderful thing for our basketball players and team. It's great for the university. You know, we just feel proud to represent our country going over there, and uh, that's going to be what we do: go to compete against. The Cuban national team, which is their best team, who's ironically been playing very well the Pan Am games. I know their rankings have moved up, from, you know, like they were at one point in time, somebody told me they were 58th in the world. Now they're somewhere 25, 30 in the world. So we know that uh, it's great competition, and, uh, you know, we're excited about that, but also excited to go over as ambassadors and build relationships with Cuba and, and see a country that our country really hadn't been able to see. We'll get to see things that we haven't seen for the last 50 years. So just, uh, just looking forward to it. Real excited. What, How much do you know about Cuba? It's weird to ask for a scouting report on well, Cuba. But. Well, I don't know anything about their team. Uh, you know, we don't have any film work uh, with regards to it. We're going to go over there and be ourselves, play our game, play their game. We play three games in a row. We'll adjust as we go. Uh, and. Uh, We'll, we'll take it from there, but just basically we're going to go play our game, they play their game. You know, they're going to be like playing a pro team, to be honest with you. So we got our hands full. Uh, we're going over there naturally to win, but, you know, to go over and beat a professional team will be a very difficult challenge. How much have you talked to the players about that history with Cuba and, and the, the significance in that regard? I think we've talked pretty much from the onset, you know, not every day, but to understand you know, the culture, and we've educated them uh, with regards to the people that run the tour. Uh, Lee Frederick, who's in Cuba with the uh, uh, sports tour, came in and for two days, you know, gave our gave our guys an education with regards to what they're going to face and, you know, what it's all about. I mean, it's a country that uh, is a beautiful country, but they've been impoverished uh, since the Communist Party left in, uh, in the 90s. Uh, so. You know, it, it, I think we can do a lot uh, to educate our guys on what they're facing, and, and they can do a lot for our country in the way they represent themselves. What's on the agenda other than basketball? What excites you? Salsa lessons. That's part of you. Don't come out of Cuba without getting salsa lessons. Uh, you know, Cuban is Cuba is big in cigars. We'll go to cigar pack. We're going to go up to the north coast. I'd like to try to get to Trinidad if we can. The flag raising ceremony on the 14th, uh, that's a huge event. Uh, and we're, you know, we will, we're, we're excited about that. Um, there's a lot of things. Uh, so outside of basketball, just seeing what it's about. And then the unknown. You know, <laughs> I, I guess there'll be some surprises, but we've got a great, a great trip is lined up. And we play our basketball the first three days after we get there. So bang, 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 and then we're going to do some clinics uh, with kids uh, that are over there, so that, that's going to be a new thing. So you're from that part of the world to a degree. What do you know about Cuba, and what significance does this trip hold for you? Uh, I guess the only thing I know about Cuba is that climate sort of like the Bahamas and so therefore all the trees I used to climb when I was young and all the fruits I used to eat off the trees I know they all grow in Cuba so I think that's what I'm most excited about to honestly climb trees and eat fruits off the trees that most Americans wouldn't know about. Yeah you've never been there though right? No I've never been to Cuba. Um, how much have they talked to you about the historical component of this trip and just kind of the, the background with Cuba and the United States and, and how, how much of a big deal this is that you all are going? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I know from, well, American history class about the Cold War and how the whole missile crisis and all this. I mean, I know uh, the tension that was between America and Cuba, so I know how big of a, how, I know what I'm looking for, how, I guess history in the making this is that the fact that they're the first team from America the United States to go over there and play in Cuba. Because in the Bahamas, I know our team, our national team has been to Cuba before. And, you know, we, the Bahamas has an open yeah. relationship with Cuba, so I know for America it's a big deal. So I'm just excited to be a part of that, you know, so 20 years down the line, like, 
I was there when the flag was raised, you know. Yeah. Well, just lastly, from a basketball standpoint, uh, it's a cool opportunity for you guys to kind of come together in the summer and, and get that chemistry process going early. What are you hoping to get out of it basketball-wise? I just feel, yeah, team-wise, yeah, I feel still be going because, you know, we have some new guys. We lost Warren and Josh. So, so this is a great chance for us to build chemistry, you know, and to just really know how each other play and how we play with each other. So I just want to be a great learning experience for the whole team. How much have they talked to you guys about the historical aspect of this and just kind of informing you about the background with Cuba, United States, and all that stuff? Oh, yeah, it's a, this is a big little event that we're going to. I know we're, we just got accepted to go back into their country, and I think they're supposed to be raising the flag while we're there. So it's all a good experience, and we're very, very grateful and happy to be a part of it. What have uh, family or friends or people said when you talk, they find out that you're going to Cuba and getting this kind of unique chance? Um, they're all excited. I mean, they know they know exactly what, what we're getting into. They know about the which is getting accepted and that they're supposed to be raising the flag. So they're excited to be kind of be a part of this little opportunity with us as well. Um, just lastly, from a basketball standpoint, this is a good opportunity for you guys in the summer to be able to play some competitive games. What do you hope to get out of it in that regard? Um, we got a we got a new team this year, so I think this is really going to give us a head of start compared to other teams within our conference. Well, not in our conference, but the country, because we get to get a chance to play against some high level competition and just to get a chance to, to jail early on than most teams get a chance to do.